mom. And she reminded me that everything happens for a reason. Um, and she said, if, if God didn't want you to go to Guam, he, that would not be your assignment. I said, okay. So I put on my big girl pants and my four-year-old and I went off to Guam. And I will tell you, it was an amazing experience. And I look back on how that really changed um, my trajectory and um, met my husband. And now, you know, here we are, we have two kiddos of our own. We have three kids together and um, that none of that would have happened if I didn't trust um, and I didn't um, make that leap. And, and so I've, my family and I have every opportunity um, realize that there's a reason. There's a reason why we were sent to Alaska uh, when we were. Um, and I know sometimes that that's not clear at, you know, at the time of it that it's happening, um, but I think it's important um, for, especially for somebody like me to, to share that perspective uh, with others. Um, but, but my faith is a huge part of, of who I am. And it was meant for you to be featured today. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Very inspirational story. Very, very inspirational. I salute to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you know, back at, at you, because I was reading about your organization, you know, and I, and again, I think back to, um, you know, I go back to that time in my life when I was a single mom. And for me, um, being in the military, my thought was, I, I always have to have it together, right? Like I can't, I can't give a glimpse that I don't have things together because I don't want people to believe that they can't depend on me. And I had to stop for a moment and, and be like, this is a challenging time for anybody. Mm-hmm. And I think it's actually more courageous mm-hmm. if, if you say, hey, listen, I can't do this by myself rather than creating this false sense that everything is, is, is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so I, I, I realized, and now I, I, you know, I try to, to share that with people. And um, my youngest daughter was born when I was working at the Pentagon in Washington, DC. And um, I had a 14 year old son and a, and a brand new baby. And, and I would tell people, listen, I have a baby and a teenager. I was like, let me tell you something. <laughs> like anyone out there that knows what family dynamics are like, like life is crazy in the Aguilar households. I said, I don't tell you that to have, you know, for you to doubt my ability. I'm just saying like, I get, you know, I get with what those struggles are like. And I, and I found that being genuine with people, um, it makes them realize like, it's okay. Um, just because, you know, I, I admit when I was a young officer and Nancy, to your question about becoming a Colonel, I thought that there was this magical toolkit that, that, that people in leadership positions were given. Um, and so when I, when I became a Colonel, I was like, yes, I get the, the toolkit that has all the answers. Well, there's, there's no fancy toolkit, right? It's, um, when, when we say everybody puts their pants on the same way in the morning, that's, ex- that's exactly right. Um, but the, the tools that I did have were the life experiences um, and, and the friendships along the way um, and, and the experiences that I had and the ability where I, I had to, to make some you know challenging situations and, and learn from them. And, and part of that is sometimes we stumble right? And, and we learn from each of those, those moments, but those, all those tools, that's what I have. And, and that is what um, I think is important for people to, to realize. And, and so don't have this false sense of what perfect looks like, um, because it's different for, for each of us. So that, that keeps I applaud, everyone going. I applaud you. I really do. I applaud you for your organization and, and for what you're trying to do. And um, and knowing that there are folks out there that, that care about um, giving those skills, right? Mm-hmm. Giving those, those tools uh, for individuals um, so they, they have what they need to be able to make difficult decisions or to shift, you know, career paths, whether it's, in, you know, planned or not planned, so. Thank you. That means a lot to me. And we shall see you again. Thank you so, so very much for the, uh, for the invitation. And I, and I hope that this is what you were expecting. Exactly. I hope I did not disappoint. Um, but... <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh, okay, great. It's a blessing and you're a blessing. Well, yes. thank you all. And so, God so is much. not finished with you either. <laughs> You've got thank a long you, way to go <laughs> up. I mean, you're there, but I'm talking about opportunities. There's more coming. Well, thank you both so very much. Welcome. Yeah, bye.
Okay, bye-bye. Have a good one.